Hey guys, my name is Panakin Kill, and today we're going to be going through how to make a virtual machine in either FreeNAS or TrueNAS Core. Yes, I'm aware FreeNAS is being phased out by TrueNAS Core, but this tutorial should be universal to both versions. Now, this is currently running on FreeNAS 11.3. And I'm going to be testing it with an Intel Xeon X5650, not the newest CPU, but it does support virtualization, which is something that you should check that you can do, especially if you have an older machine. And a quick way to check that is to head over to your shell and type the following command in grep capital V capital T dash X slash var slash run slash dmesg dot boot i will leave this command in the description for you to for you to copy and paste press enter and you should get an output similar to this now to proceed with the tutorial you need to make sure that this little ept this little ept shows up on your terminal screen if that's there, we can move forward with the tutorial. You can make a virtual machine instead of FreeNAS. All right, once you have confirmed that your CPU can do virtualization, head over to the Virtual Machines tab. Then click Add. And here is where we can start creating our virtual machine. First, we're going to want to choose what operating system we're going to want to put into here. Do you want, if you put Windows, if you want to make a Windows VM, you click Windows. If you want to make a Linux VM, you click Linux. And if you want to make a Unix or BSD VM, click FreeBSD. In this case, I'm going to be making an Ubuntu VM, so I'm going to click Linux. Next, we have to name our virtual machine. I'm going to keep it simple and name it Ubuntu VM, but you can name it whatever you want. If you want to put a description, you can. I'm skipping that. And you can generally keep the rest of these as their defaults. Click next. And here we'll be asked how, how many CPU cores and how much RAM do we want. In this case, I'm going to be giving it two CPU cores. I'm going to be giving it four gigabytes of RAM. That seems pretty fair. Then click next. And it'll ask us to create either a new disk image or use an existing disk image. If you don't know what a disk image is, it's essentially like a hard drive, but for virtual machines. In this case, we want to create a new disk image. You can keep this at AHCI unless your operating system requires a different disk type, but generally, you can keep this here. It's generally universal. Next, it's going to ask where we want to store our disk image. Click on the click on Zivo location and choose where you want to store it. It'll look different than mine. But in this case, I'll just be storing it on my local RAID. Then it's going to ask, how big do we want our virtual disk image? In this case, I'm going to give it 50 gigabytes. That's more than enough space for Ubuntu. Let's go to next. Next, it's going to ask about network interface. This you can generally keep at the defaults unless you want your virtual machine to use a different network interface but I'm going to be keeping it at the defaults. Click Next. And it's going to ask for our installation media. This would be something like an ISO file or a disk image file. In this case, I'm going to be using an ISO file that's already stored on my FreeNAS. But if you don't have one already stored, you can upload one from your computer. In this case, I'm going to navigate over to my disk image. Once you have your disk image selected, click next. And once we have, and once we have everything set, it'll give us a summary of everything on our VM. So we're gonna have Linux as our operating system, two CPU cores, four gigabytes of RAM, a 50 gig hard drive, and it's going to be called Ubuntu VM. Once everything checks out, you can press submit, and it will create your VM. Next, 
go over to this little arrow here on the right, click it to expand our window, and press start. It'll take a little bit the first time you start your VM. Next, head over to VNC. And it'll display the output of your VM. Again, on first boot, it'll take a little bit to load. Now that our Ubuntu ISO has launched, we'll let it go into the installer page. Now we are at our in oper operating system installer page. From here, you can install your operating system like you would in any other normal computer. So you can go ahead with your installation, which I can do off camera as I'm not really worried about that. And next I'll be going over all the different options for your virtual machine. This little stop button here stops your VM from running. It'll put it, kind of halt it. This power off button, as the name suggests, powers off your virtual machine. Let me restart it. And this restart button here restarts your virtual machine. This edit button here allows you to edit the properties of your virtual machine. You can change your name, add a description, change the system clock, change how many CPU cores you want to assign it, and change how much RAM you want to give to it. In this case, I'll keep it at what I set it to earlier. Next, you may have noticed this little check by auto start. What auto start means is that, let's say you were to restart your FreeNAS server, your VMs would automatically start up. In this case, I don't want it to do that. So I'll click no. Next, we can head over to delete. As the name implies, it just allows you to delete your virtual machine. Devices here are all the attached devices to your virtual machine. In this case, it would be your network interface, our hard drive, which is the one we created earlier, a CD-ROM drive, which is essentially our ISO file, and VNC, which is what allows us to view our VM. Let's go back. And finally, then we have this little clone button, which, as the name implies, allows us to create an identical copy of our VM. This VNC button is what we use to actually go to view our uh, virtual machine. And finally, we have our, this little serial output. This just serves nothing as a little output for your VM. We can go back. Let's power it off. And that's essentially all there is to it. Now, there is one big thing. If you do want to change, as you may have noticed when I opened my VNC window, the window itself was a little small. So let's change that. Let's go to Devices. Let's head over to VNC, Edit, and change our resolution. Let's go with 1400 by 1050. Click Save. Let's go back. That's not back. This is back. Let's go back. Start it up. And we'll head back to VNC. As you may have noticed, I now have a larger window to work with. But you may have noticed that there's a little bit of error here and there. That's pretty normal. Yeah. It's not the greatest when it comes to this. Let's just uh, go away from here. Again, it depends on your operating system, how well it scales to changing your VNC style. But essentially, that's how to make and manage your virtual machine in FreeNAS. 
it's pretty simple as long as you have a CPU that's able to do virtualization. That'll be all for the tutorial and have a nice day. Be sure to subscribe if you like the video and like the video if you like the video. Thank you. Have a good day.